I'm making a dish tonight called, uh, I guess I'm going to call it Sloppy Joe Casserole. Now, uh, being from Iowa. Hey, I love these games. We used to play them all the time back in Iowa. Bad electricity? What? <laughs> um, there's a very big difference between Sloppy Joes and Made Rights. And uh, Made Rights were invented in Iowa and are an Iowa tradition. And that, that means something very specific to somebody from Iowa. Uh, sloppy Joes, unless you're from Iowa, is probably what you grew up with. Or uh, another name for that, if you've seen uh, shows like Roseanne, would be Loose Meat Sandwiches. Here it is. Iowa's best-selling sandwich comes to Lanford. Onassis had ships, Hilton had hotels, we got loose meat. <laughs> What reeks? Your future. <laughs> and so, you, if you had these at all when you were growing up, uh, they were either called loose meat sandwiches or sloppy joes, and probably not made rights unless um, someone where you lived knew what a made right was, which is unlikely. Now what I've done here is I've taken a pound of ground beef and I put it into this nice hot Dutch oven that I'm gonna, and I'm gonna brown it and kinda crumble it up a bit. Um, and I, that that I just added is a little bit of diced onion, a little bit of diced green pepper, and a little bit of uh, garlic minced up. Now, a made right, <coughs> a made right is basically just hamburger that they've cooked on a steam table in uh, in steam and there's water in there and some spices like salt, pepper, things like this and depending on who you talk to, some onion or not. And it's basically just hamburger meat that's crumbly that you put on a bun and eat. Um, the classic way being to eat that with a little bit of mustard, a little bit of onion and a little bit of pickle. A sloppy joe has a sauce, like a tomato based sauce or a uh, uh, some other kind of sauce, mustard based, doesn't matter, but a made right is a very, very specific thing and it's actually a brand. A sloppy joe is different. Now, um, this hamburger is more or less done the way I want it and it's time to make these into sloppy joes. So, I'm going to make the sauce, I'm going to add about a quarter cup of ketchup, and I've got some Campbell's tomato soup here. I'm just gonna add a can of this. There's lots of brands of tomato soup, etc. You know, use what you want. I like the Campbell's because Campbell's is mm, mm, good. Now that I've got the soup and ketchup added, I'm gonna give it a little stir here. It's not liquid enough, uh, and I'm gonna add a cup of water. That's gonna help add a little bit more liquid. Uh, to prevent this from burning, and it's also going to help uh, the flavors and things combine a little bit better. I'm going to add some salt, about a teaspoon, and some fresh ground pepper, as much as you like. So now I'm going to bring this to a simmer and let this simmer a bit until it thickens somewhat, and I will show you the next step. I know you're wondering what's in this small Dutch oven. It's okay to ask. I have some beans cooking in there. They will be done to serve with my tasty sloppy joe casserole. Dizzy, come here. Psst, psst. Dizzy, come. Psst. Come here. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Psst, psst, psst. Oh. Now my uh, sauce has thickened up sufficiently here that I think it is okay to add the next ingredient. Now, you need to report me to Michelle for adding this. This is whole milk mozzarella cheese. The next thing I'm gonna add is some pre-made biscuits and normally I would go to the trouble to make this myself but uh, 
Reason I'm using pre-made biscuits is this is supposed to be a real easy thing to make. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these. Now this is kind of like a champagne cork and it always surprises me. So let's go carefully. Oh! Time to check our biscuits. I've checked these a few times and rotated the lid, etc., to keep the heat, heat nice and even. I'm looking for a nice brown color. And there we are, that's what it should look like. So I'm going to let this sit for a little bit with no heat and then serve.